This is some work from Yas Stam, one of our researchers. It's being presented in the technical paper sessions at SIGGRAPH 99. Now what it is, is it's a solution in real time to an approximation of fluid dynamics. So what that really means is imagine this is a bunch of fluid and I'm about to dip my finger in it and stir it around. Well, what happens? So I start to stick my finger in and you start to see the dynamics of the simulation behaving. What's really going on is exactly what would happen if I was sticking my fingers in a real fluid. So what is a fluid? Well, a fluid is a bunch of particles that are interacting among each other. So the particles might actually be the pixels in this two-dimensional image of me. So I can stir that around and start to use the simulation to transform <laughs> and some would say improve this beautiful image of me. So what's interesting here is that a technique that started off with a $5 highfalutin title like dynamic simulation of particle systems um, turns into a generalized morphing system that works on any 2D image. Yasa's dynamic simulation works in 3D as well as 2D. To illustrate this, we're going to couple Yasa's technology with that of a company in Israel called 3D V Systems and something called the ZCam. Now what the ZCam is, is a video camera that not only captures images like any other video camera, it also can get a depth map of what it's photographing. So for example, if the camera that was shooting me right now was a Z-cam, it would be able to sense how close my finger is and its movement left and right and up and down. In essence, you could, in fact, track the closest point to the camera, namely the tip of my finger, and use that as a 3D cursor. Now that's exactly what Yoss did. So if you take the front view here, we see the person in the video captured with the Z-cam interacting with the particles of smoke in the 3D volume. Now, that's what the camera sees, but what is the actual data set? Well, it's seen better here, where we see the virtual volume in front of the user, and you see the depth information of the hand coming out towards the camera. And that is what is interacting with the particles that are inside of the volume. Now, to see this in action, we've got a video clip, which I repeat was done in real time. And so now you see the hand being tracked, and interacting with the smoke particles and the dynamics all working as you would expect in 3D. This is unprecedented in computer graphics. The compositing, the capturing of the live motion 3D in real time and this type of complex simulation all working together on a mini computer. What this signals towards is a future where the cameras are smarter and will be able to do 3D effects in the camera, so to speak, and bring creative control up to the filmmaker, to the camera operator and the director, away from post-production, and actually restore creative decision-making where it really belongs.